In this video, we will be going over materialization, grouping, and lighting inside of Unreal Engine and Maya. Here you can see me using Autodesk Maya to separate the model into groups based on materials. Here I am naming the headlight glass. This is useful because when we're in Unreal, we can search for our already applied materials and apply new materials and textures to objects without having to drag and drop them on the vehicle. This is very useful for headlights where you have objects inside of objects and you want light to shine through. It can be difficult to apply materials in the viewport and easier to apply them in the material viewer or the outliner. And having organized names for each material will make it easier to find, recognize, and apply new materials inside of Unreal. Here I am adjusting the chrome on the inside of the headlight glass. Once we are finished with the grouping, we will select all of our parts combined and name the model properly. I think it's nice to be organized when working inside of Maya and Unreal. Next, we will freeze the transformations, delete our history, and export. Be sure to choose FBX export. This is best for exporting from Maya to Unreal because it keeps all of our material groupings and though the model is combined into one object, it recognizes the material separations as turn off bake animation, turn off deformations. This is the static mesh that we're using for this tutorial. If you were having a moving model, you would have those checked. Next, find your file path location and export. Here we are in Unreal Engine. As you can see below, I've imported the model and all of the materials came with it. Let's grab our model. Let's double click it, open up the this viewing window. And as you can see, we have separate materials applied to the different parts on the model. Next, we will go to the window tab in the top left hand corner and we'll choose details here we are in the windows tab and we're choosing details this will open up all, all of the materials in the scene We can go into the search bar and search for those materials that we named in Maya. So I'm searching for glass. I'm looking for the glass for the headlights. Right there. Looking for car paint. I've located the car paint material. And now inside of our content browser. We're going through to automotive materials, materials, exterior, car paint, and we're going to grab the charcoal and apply that. It may take some time depending on your computer speed. And there's the car paint. Being a little bit of an error, it looks like, on the side, um, but that should go away once we put it inside of the viewport. We save it, and now that material is saved to the model that we imported in the content browser inside of this car file. Drag it into the scene, it has uh, car paint applied, and now we rotate around the model and that little air is gone. We have our car paint. So you can apply new materials inside of that model viewer window or inside of the viewport 
right here from the content browser, which is how we will do most of our materialization on the vehicle. Now let's open up the car paint again. Here we are back inside of that model window, searching for a glass material. Here I am applying the clear glass material for the headlight glass 